Good morning guys and welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, so I'm basically continuing on from last week's vlog. Same day, I'm off to get a colposcopy. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. But basically, um, when I went and got my pap smear in December, I did... The results did come back with some abnormalities in some of my cells. So my GP recommended for me to go and see a gynecologist and get a colposcopy, which basically is another version of a pap smear, but I'm put on stirrups and they basically look at my cervix with a microscope. They put some sort of vinegar solution in so they can detect the abnormal cells um, and also take a biopsy of those abnormal cells and then they'll take that to the lab and see if there is any cancerous tissue or cells um, in my cervix. Fingers crossed I don't. I got so many messages when I posted it on my Instagram saying a lot of you guys have actually done the same thing. They got the same abnormalities in their cells and they had to do the same procedure. I am a little bit nervous for the biopsy. Um, I did get a few messages saying it is quite stingy and uncomfortable, but obviously there are worse things that I could be going through right now. Um, but yeah, obviously health is number one and I'd literally do anything to prevent any serious things from happening. So that's why getting a pap smear is super important. Like if I hadn't got that pap smear and held it off for another six months, and if I did have cancerous tissues or I did have something serious down there, it would have eventually spread and it would have maybe been harder for it to treat. So I'm so glad I got my pap smear um, when I needed to get it done. So yeah, I'm going to a doctor here in Perth um, and I will obviously document it. Obviously I won't be able to bring my camera in, but I will share the whole entire procedure. Apparently I do need to prepare for a bit of spotting and discharge. So I am wearing a pad right now. Everyone on Instagram has been super, super helpful. Um, I don't know, I'm just a bit nervous because apparently they don't really numb the site where they take a scraping, they just kind of do it. Um, but yeah, all in all, everyone said it's fine. It's just a little bit uncomfortable, sort of similar to a pap smear, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm tough. I am off to the Gold Coast tomorrow for a few nights and then Sydney for a event. It's for the Boohoo Mardi Gras collection, I'm pretty sure. But obviously I'll vlog that when the time comes. Um, I've just started packing today. I'm leaving tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna go get a blow dry um, from Boohoo Blonde in Perth and then be on my way. So yeah, come follow me around for this crazy unplanned week. Hey guys, we're back now. I'm back from my gynecologist appointment. I'll run you through everything in a second, but I just thought I'd show you guys what we got from Coles. I'm away this week, so we just got a few things for Peter. I found these, they were $3. Sorry, not Coles, we're worse. I found these Makona um, pods, um, and they are compatible with Nespresso machine, so I got these flavors. I got some ham to snack on, this for a treat tonight, some steak. Um, this is the bolognese sauce that I use if I can't find the keep it cleaner one. Some more soap, mints, toothpaste. This is my favorite um, makeup remover, spinach. Um, but yeah, obviously as the week goes on, he'll probably need to go and buy some more. But yeah, I'm just going to make some chicken nuggets with some chicken breast. I just coat it with some egg and then put it in some psyllium husk and some spices and just pop it on the pan. Or you can put it in the air fryer. So I'll show you guys how I do that. So these are my little keto chicken nuggets. What I used is, so for the crumb, I used psyllium husk and then I put in some vegeta, garlic powder and some herbamir. I first whisked up an egg dip them in the egg and then put them in like the crumb. So I've just put these in the pan with a bit of olive oil, waiting for them to brown up and obviously cook. And there you have it, chicken nuggets, keto style. Yum. This is what the keto chicken nuggets look like. And we'll have it with some good sauce that I get from low carbon pour. I actually put it in this little squeezy bottle just so it's easier. How good. I also got this amazing package from Lano Lips. I opened it up and I was like, damn it, can't eat them. But their new lip ointment came in the box of roses. So it's their Baby Rose Gold 101 ointment. So thank you so much, Lano Lips. I'm sure Peter will love those roses after Fiji, won't you, Del? <laughs> hey guys, so I've been home for a few hours post procedure. I actually just filmed a video and I popped on a fake tan already tomorrow. 
for when I fly out to the Gold Coast. I thought I'd just sit and, you know, give you guys some insight if you guys are nervous and have the appointment booked if you need it. Um, so yeah, the colposcopy isn't a colonoscopy. Um, I got a few messages saying, don't you mean colonoscopy? Um, when they go into your bum? No, colposcopy, which is, um, what I mentioned before, they just have a deeper sort of look in your cervix with a microphone. They use a solution to identify the abnormal cells. Um, and he did end up taking a biopsy. Oh, by the way, this painting's only... Um, temporary before I get to my new prints that I ordered online. I'm super excited to show you guys. Um, I got a print for up there and then I got a print for here. Can't wait. Anyways, um, so yeah, basically what I did was I went in and had a consult with him. He pretty much just reassured me that this is very common um, for abnormal cells to um, come up in pap smear results. A lot of girls get it and it is very common. Yeah, he basically reassured me that it is quite common for me not to freak out. Most of the time, the body does heal itself. I went into the room, he reassured me that this is a very, very common procedure um, for those that do have abnormalities in their cells from their pap smear results. Um, basically said I am at very, very low risk of developing any sort of cervical cancer or anything like that. He pretty much just reassured me that because I have been on top of my pap smears and it was only really abnormal within the last year, I wouldn't have, you know, gotten anything serious like cervical cancer, but just in case, just to see if everything's okay. So basically how it works was I went into the treatment room, I sat down and then I put my legs up on some stirrups. So my legs were like this in the air it was a bit weird they gave me a little sheet to cover with um I obviously had to remove my undies and my um shorts obviously um and then they cover you up he walks into the room um and i think they try and talk to you to distract you from what's happening like obviously it's a very awkward and not the most glamorous of sights and just the whole situation is very awkward but you know, they try and make it as least awkward as they can. So, you know, he was just talking to me, chit-chatting to me about daily life just while he was opening up the cervix with the clamp, which is what they use in a pap smear. So it's the same type of thing. It's like a little thing that goes in like that and then they wind it up and then it kind of expands, I'm guessing. Um, and then what he did was he got a bit of a vinegar solution on the end of a stick with a little cotton pad and he obviously went in and you know lined the cervix he said that when he did put the vinegar solution in the cervix the solution did fade quite quickly which did represent that the cells the abnormal cells weren't as serious because if they were serious they would stay quite dark from the solution so he said that was one of the things that he wasn't concerned about. So I was like, okay, thank fuck. Um, but he's like, oh, I'm gonna take a biopsy just in case the odd occasion something isn't right. And I was like, oh damn. I was like hoping that he'd just completely missed the biopsy. Um, so then I started to freak out. I was like, fuck, okay, 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 okay. What am I going to expect? Um, so he takes out these massive, like, I don't know what are they called? Just They just look like massive scissors. And I was like, oh. And he kept talking to me as well. And I was thinking like, okay, sure. She told me what's going on because I know you're trying to distract me from talking to me. And you know, you're going to be like, oh, did you even notice I did it? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I was like freaking the fuck out for no reason. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go over with the clamp and just take a little scraping of the side. You'll feel a little pinch, but it should be like over before you know it. It won't hurt or anything like that. Anyways, I'm preparing for the freaking worst, thinking, fuck, he's going to be yanking at my cervix, trying to get a little scraping or a little piece of it. And I was just like, literally like held my breath like as if it was going to cane. Basically, it was just like someone pinched my arm. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Is that it? And he's like, I told you it doesn't hurt. So I was so mind blown that it didn't hurt. So yeah, for you guys as a peace of mind, it really doesn't hurt. The most probably uncomfortable bit is putting the clamp in. You know how it's like a cold clamp and then they like wind it up. That's probably the most uncomfortable part. Um, and then I think he puts a little bit of like that vinegar solution on the cut where he um, like took the scraping. It does kind of sting, stingy, burny a little bit, but it doesn't hurt at all. It's just like, yeah just a little stingy, like as if you 
like cut something and you know like a solution went on it but yeah it, it wasn't like at all what I thought it would be I was literally in the car like saying to Peter like I don't want to do this like I'm not prepared for this like they're gonna fucking stick my vagina and he's like just relax like it's probably not even that bad and he made a good point he's like doctors aren't there to you know put you in pain like they're not gonna want you to be in pain so obviously if it is a painful procedure they'll numb you or they'll make sure you're in as least amount of pain as possible and I was like okay true they're not gonna torture me so yeah, it was over within like 10 minutes. Um, she gave me a pad to put in my undies because she did say prepare for a bit of spotting. I did get a little bit of cramping maybe like 15 minutes after. She did say cramping can last up to a few days as well as spotting. I personally haven't had any cramping since. It's been like five or so hours. I did get a little bit of spotting. Um, they did say that um, you could get a bit of discharge and that's normal, like weird colors. I don't think I've gotten any of that. I've just got a bit of spotting on the pad. Sorry if that's TMI, but I'm just trying to be as real and as honest as possible. Um, but yeah, it's honestly not what I thought it would be. I did the dumb thing of going onto YouTube and like, or even just reviews or like forums of people that have gotten it done. And some people have been like, it's the most excruciating pain I've ever, ever come across. I had cramps for days. I couldn't walk. I felt faint. And I was like, well, fuck, may as well put me to sleep. Is there any harm of asking if I get some local anesthetic? Um, I went to, um, what was it called? Hollywood Medical Center, just past the city. I don't remember his last name, but his first name was Krish, Dr. Krish. He was really nice um, and really good as well. And he had good reviews. I just pretty much based it on the reviews. So yeah, I'm glad I got it done. Fingers crossed all my results are positive and I don't have to go back again. Um, but yeah, he did say he would be very surprised if um, those results came back abnormal or something had come up in the results. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, fuck, I feel like I was just talking for about an hour. I'm just packing up my suitcase for my five-day getaway. I'm super excited to see my family and my friends. Um, so, yeah, I'm just in the midst of packing. I need to pack my makeup as well. Um, I might pack some snacks for the plane. I'm not going to meal prep because I'll probably just get dinner with mum when I land at around 7. I need to put away some clothes, even though the majority of it is Peter's. I need to tan my face and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to update you guys on. I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm back on the Gold Coast. I'm actually in my old room at mum's and it's giving me like major throwback vibes from like five years ago. It feels so weird to be in here. That's where I used to set up my makeup desk and my lighting like all in that little space like there's literally like a meter there and i used to do all my makeup videos like if you scroll back on my youtube from like literally three to five years ago that's where my videos were filmed and then i moved into the spare room but oh my god it's so weird like it just reminds me of when i was in school i used to wake up in this room get ready over there so weird but i'm so happy to be home and see mum so i'm here for three days my plan while i'm here is to completely clear out the spare room in my apartment um, and buy a bed because i am going to rent out my apartment fully furnished i'm just watching the love island episode before the finale um but yeah i probably won't end up watching the other one tonight because i'm super tired it's 11 p.m but it's only 8 p.m wait no yeah no, 9 p.m. in Perth. I was like, is it three or two? It's two hours difference from here to Perth. So Perth is two hours behind. It is 11 p.m. Queensland time, but I'm so tired. I don't normally go to bed until like 1 a.m. Perth time, which is like 3 a.m. Queensland time, but I'm just exhausted. Like planes just drain me. I don't know why, but I think I kind of need to go to bed early because I'm waking up tomorrow a bit early and going to a good life class and then i need to go get my eyebrows threaded at waxing express um and then i'm going to get my eyelashes done um with cass at bulletproof because i miss her eyelash extension so much and i just thought um because i have an event on on saturday still got a few breakouts here but my skin is clearing up 
Good morning, everyone. I'm just about to scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> Make an espresso shot before I head to a booty bar class at Good Life. Just wearing a Stax crop and my favorite bike pants right now. Well, yeah, these are so freaking comfortable and I just love leopard print, obviously. Um, yeah, okay. I just made the wrong freaking coffee, but whatever. Right. Gonna add a bit of normal milk. Just so it's like more of a piccolo. I don't have almond milk, but I might have to go buy some today. What is this? Zymil lactose free. Oh my god, this feels so weird. Okay, it's really hot. I underestimated it was cold inside, so I put a jumper on. But it's freaking boiling. Um, I'm in my car. What the fuck? I miss it so much. I have a Nissan Qashqai for those that always ask. It's honestly the best car. Like, if you like SUVs, like, you will love this. I freaking love it. Ooh. Um, and for those asking, like, yeah, obviously I didn't sell it. I just gave it to mum. So for whenever I come, like, back, I can just borrow it. She was looking at getting a new one. And I was like, no, I just have mine. Like, and then when I come, I can drive it. She's like, really? I was like, yeah. What do you mean? Um... So yeah, I'm off to Broody Bar, and then, oh my god, did not miss that noise. And then I'm going to get my eyebrows done at Waxing Express. They don't really look like they need done, but really up close they do. And yeah, that's my plans for today. Um, I might catch up with Riley for lunch. We might go to Brio, or somewhere, wherever she wants to go. Um, and yeah, and then tomorrow I've got a few appointments. Damn it, I've got low battery. Tomorrow I've got a few appointments. I've got an appointment to get another new hair extension because I lost mine at the hotel on Valentine's Day weekend. So annoyed. Um, and I'm getting my nails done by Onyx Files because how can I not get my nails done while I'm here by Jessie? And yeah, that's my plans. Oh my God, guys, look where I am. I'm in my apartment. <gasps> um, I was planning on finishing off like fucking majority of this stuff off to be honest um so i'm gonna put a bed in here like a brand new bed like so it can be a spare room for the renters or whatever they want to do with it I'll probably either give this away or i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it look how bare it looks also riley just messaged me and she was like what are you doing i just landed like what do you mean just didn't organize anyone to pick her up she was like oh i forgot <laughs> Look at my bed. Stop it. I love this bed sheet. Wow, the mems. All right, better go pick up Riley. Oh my God, look what just arrived. Oh my God, I made an order just while I was here, just because, I don't know, it's just gonna be so hard for me to make meals because I'm always on the go. These are meals by Ketogenic Kitchen and they're a keto meal company that delivers so i just ordered a few meals just to get me by for the next few days oh my god their meals are honestly incredible so i got two pizzas i got a stuffed capsicum because i freaking love capsicum and their lasagna which i tried last time amazing so this is what their pizzas look like wow amazing thank you so much They've also got macros on their website as well if you're tracking, which I am. Um, I think I'm going to have, oh, I don't know what to have for lunch. Maybe this for lunch. And then I'll have maybe one of the pizzas for dinner. But, oh my gosh, you need to check them out. They are honestly incredible. So I just heated this meal up for lunch. Here are the macros. I love that they have macros for people that track, which I do. So I'll be putting that all into my carb manager. I've just heated it up for two minutes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm literally obsessed with anything stuffed capsicum. Yum. Oh my God, that meal was so good. Um, I'm just off to go pick up Riley. We're gonna go to the beach, chill, take a few photos and yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I'll probably go back to my apartment this afternoon. Riley literally called me as she was landing. She was like, he might pick me up. And I was like, well, thanks for the notice, bruh. But I ended up picking her up, dropping her home. And then I went and got dressed. And now I'm going to go pick her up again. And we'll go to the beach. Take some pics. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to do today. Probably going to go back to my apartment and see if I can clear some of the room. And then I'm going to get my eyelashes done this afternoon. Hi! Oh my god! <gasps> You're so big now! Oh my god, he's a tank! What the fuck? Be careful! Oh my god! Hi! Stop! You're too... You're too much! You're too much! Are you excited? Look at... It's okay. It's okay. Did you miss me? Good morning, guys. I just woke up and had a shower and washed my hair because I'm going in to pick up my ponytail hair extension that I lost, unfortunately, at the hotel when we were staying um, over Valentine's Day. I tried calling up and asked them to look at the room and they couldn't find anything. So, yeah. The housekeepers must be just wearing my extension. <laughs> I've just organized to go pick up um, another one from Emily Hadjil Extension. So I thought I would just wash my hair and style it nice. I might go gym this afternoon. There's a hit class on at Good Life. And then after that, I'm going to go get my nails done because I am going to Sydney for a like Mardi Gras type boohoo event. Um, I want to get like colored nails or something a little bit out there. So I'm going to go to Onyx Files for that, of course. Um, and I also got a delivery yesterday from a company called Ministry of Brew or something like that. But it's just cold brew coffee. So I'm going to make one and share my thoughts. Um, but, oh my god, do I have a story to tell you about. Remember how, I think it was like three weeks ago in my vlog, I said I got a, a call from the post office. Um, and he's like, you signed for a package and... Obviously, I denied it because I was like, no, like, I haven't got anything out of the ordinary. Like, not going to lie, I don't really check the labels on the packages. I just assume whatever they give me is mine. So I was like, no, I don't have a designer wallet. I don't have, like, a, you know, I would know if I got something, like, really random and bizarre and out of the ordinary. Um, turns out that Mimco package is not mine. I got a comment. It just clicked from a subscriber saying... I remember you saying you got a random um, call from the post office and their description of the items in the package was a beach towel, a designer wallet. It wasn't really a designer wallet. It was like, I guess you you could describe it as a designer wallet, but it was a phone case, which one fit my phone. So that was weird. Um, and it was just like one of those like coin things where you can put like cards and stuff and then by phone stickers he meant like those card holders that stick onto the back of your phone so it just clicked I was like oh my god I've literally denied it this whole time to this guy saying no 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 every time I walk in he's like oh have you you know gone through all of your stuff and I was like yes I have like I I don't have it I'm so sorry it must still be in the post office so I like felt so bad because this poor lady, who knows if she got her money back or it was insured because it was probably over like 200 or so dollars worth of stuff. Anyway, so I was like, holy fuck, that's it. Like that isn't my Mimco thing. Anyways, because I always throw the packaging out, um, I couldn't actually properly identify if it was addressed to me or if it was addressed to the girl whose name was Marnie, which is so fucking weird because that's Peter's mum's name. Anyways, um, so yeah, I was like, okay, that must be it. And plus, like, I don't know. I just thought maybe, oh, Mimco, we're doing something different and doing a PR thing. I, just, I didn't really think of it as, like, an out-of-the-ordinary package. Um, I feel like they've done PR before, maybe, or maybe I've seen it somewhere on someone's story that they've worked with an influencer. I don't know. So I just didn't think anything of it. Whereas if it was like Louis Vuitton or Prada, I'd be like, there's something not right here. Like, why would they be sending me like a free wallet? Anyway, so I messaged him and I'm like, how am I going to explain to an elderly 
man that I don't actually know what's in half the parcels that I pick up. How do you explain that I, you know, I work on social media and most of them are gifted. Some of them I know what it is, so I just open them and think it's mine. Like, how is he going to actually, like, comprehend that without him thinking I stole it? And then after him asking me so much, I felt bad and said, oh, look, here it is. Like, I've, I've had it this whole time. Like, how am I going to explain it? I was like, what the hell? I don't want to look like a thief because, honestly, it was not my intention. I had no freaking idea. Like, I would never do that. I even said to Peter, like, if I ever got anything not addressed to me, I would not open it. I would return it back straight away because I would hate if that happened to me. So I was like, fuck, how am I going to put this in words that, like, how am I just going to, like, just randomly come up and say, like, oh, yeah, actually, you know what? I have it. So I was just thinking, like, how the hell am I meant to explain? So I tried to put it in the simplest way possible. I said, hey, like, I work on social media. I get so many packages. Half the time, I don't even know what they are. Because you gave it to me, I just automatically thought it was mine. So I didn't think anything of it. And then I just explained, like, it's sort of normal <laughs> for me to, you know, get stuff like this. Um, and I just said I couldn't help but, you know, go back through my old videos, which I did read the comments and someone had said it must be that Mimco one. Um, and it just clicked to me, even though his product description was slightly off, which threw me off. Like if he had said Mimco, I would have just clicked and been like, okay, that's definitely her. That's not mine. But he didn't. He just said designer wallet and a beach towel and foam stickers. So that's what threw me off. Um, and then, yeah, he like somehow understood. I, I, He's probably so still confused. Anyway, so um, Peter's going to return it. Um, luckily, I didn't open it or use any of it. Um, so it's still in my makeup room, just sitting there in a box. Um, so yeah, he's obviously going to return that. Um, and I feel like I should add in a few more things like makeup that I haven't used just to say sorry. Because far out. It's been like three weeks. And that poor lady that ordered that Mimco stuff hasn't had her parcel. She's probably freaking out. <sighs> so that was that was it like lesson learned i'm definitely going to be reading the labels even after they've given me my parcels like usually i do because normally my parcels just have 216 on it and that's my po box so i'm just like oh yeah surely nope that one wasn't mine but like oh how how crazy is that like just so weird. Anyways, I'm going to go um, into the kitchen, chuck my Apple Watch on, and try that new cold brew coffee. Um, I just made the cold brew iced coffee. I added in a stevia, but I did dilute it with hot water just so it dissolved. Um, and then I added it in here. I filled it about this much with cold brew and then a bit with um, almond milk. It's yum. I probably should have added two because the coffee's so bitter. Well, not bitter, but like very strong. Honestly, why? Shut up. So, one thing I hate about this car, if you're close to something and you're reversing, it fucking tells you. Anyways, <laughs> good morning, guys. Well, yeah, I guess it's still morning. Late morning. It's 10.30. I didn't go to the gym this morning because I set an alarm for 7 o'clock, which is five o'clock person and I was like that's not happening so I um, got up had a shower washed my hair um, I'll just leave it for them to style I'm going to Emily Hadrill hair extensions to get my ponytail extension that I lost trust me I even Peter was like I, are you sure you've lost it I was like I literally turned my fucking room and my house upside down I couldn't find it anywhere so yeah, I literally can't live without it. It's my favorite ponytail extension. I love the Emily Hadrill one. Even though I haven't really tried other brands, um, I just love that one. Really, really easy to put on. Um, yeah, if you live on the Gold Coast, definitely check them out. I'm not sure if you can buy them online, though. I'll have to ask her. Um, but yeah, then I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to get something for Mardi Gras. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing today. Cool. Oh my god. What I was gonna say was so freaking cute. So my grandma called me like a few weeks ago, my barker, um, and she was like, 
because they just got a new TV, so they got like a, I think they had an old TV. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a smart TV. Anyway, so um, my uncle like put up my YouTube and ever since she has watched every single one of my videos, like this is a couple weeks ago, and she called me like the other week and she was like crying. She was like, oh, like is she, it's just weird. Like I feel like grandparents, especially like European grandparents, as much as you try to explain what you do, well, for me, she just always thought I was a makeup artist. Um, never really understood like the social media side of things. Didn't know about Instagram or YouTube, even though I've told her a million times I do YouTube videos, but it just didn't process in her mind that it's my job to do that. Um, so she finally figured out what I do and she was crying. She was like, I'm so proud of you. I watch your videos every day. And I was like, oh my God, stop. And like, I started crying. I was like, oh my God. Um, cause yeah, she misses me so much. And especially cause, oh, crying. Um, sick. Um, yeah, especially cause I've moved to Perth. Like, she'll hardly see me um, but I went and saw her like once a week um, just to say hi fuck hold it together <gasps> no 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 oh it's quite waterproof today um, yeah anyway so she was just like stoked that she can watch my videos every day and she gets so excited when I upload new vlogs so when I go over there I'll introduce you because she'll be so excited when she goes and watches back the vlog. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was so cute of her finally realizing that I post YouTube videos basically for a living. Um, but yeah, it's just funny, like wog parents. By the way, don't get offended when I say wog. I'm a wog, I'm proud of it. I don't mean it to say it in a derogatory way. Like I remember when I posted, um, the Vegeta and I was like if you're wog you'd know like this spice and so many people were like oh wog is derogatory like it's such a rude word but like I am one like fair enough if I wasn't one and I was saying it in a rude way but I'm just saying my wog grandparents they are the woggiest wogs out of all of them there <laughs> you should see their house like honestly typical Croatian grandparents house love them to death um but yeah I was so happy that she finally yeah she just didn't even know that I after all these years that I posted YouTube videos she's I've watched your makeup videos I've watched all your like you know when you're in America she said she watched my video there she's like I love it I wake up and watch one of your videos I'm like oh stop I feel like the rain is sort of stopped. okay I need a sprint in okay I will show you guys the extension when I get it in good morning guys okay let me explain myself. I know I didn't vlog after my appointment to get my hair extension in, and that's because they were actually filming for their website or whatever, and I forgot to bring in like the scrunchie that I use to hold my hair up. I'll actually show you guys when I get home. I'm gonna have to try and remember where I got it from, but it's a really firm scrunchie, and that's what I use, and they didn't really have anything like that in the salon. Um, and I don't know why, but they they only just had like those clear elastics and it just didn't sit upright. So I had to borrow the girl's scrunchie, like that was doing it just around her wrist and that worked. Um, but then I had to give it back to her, obviously. So I ended up taking the extension out and leaving. Um, obviously I got my extension, but yeah, I wasn't gonna just be like, oh, hey, I went and got my extension, but it's not in. Anyways, I went and got my nails done. Oh, okay, I need to, this needs to be a zoom up because it is absolutely probably my favorite nails I've ever had. Like, what do you even mean? She actually did gel tips this time. So this whole thing is stuck on with a gel, so it's not acrylic. Apparently they're meant to last longer and the shape's a bit different, but I love it. I wanted something a bit colorful for Mardi Gras. So we did like the LV print and then the cherries. Oh my God, just buy. If you are from the Gold Coast, you need to go to Jessie at Onyx Files. She's amazing. I just pulled up to the Keto Butchers here in Rabina. Pretty sure I vlogged it before, but yeah, it's basically a butcher that does like keto schnitzels, keto steaks. Um, obviously all meat is keto, but he makes like 
for example, like a schnitzel, he'll make the crumb keto. But yeah, he just makes so many cool little creations out of his meat. So I might actually bring my vlog camera if he doesn't mind and film a little bit of what's inside. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing. I'm going to get, he's made me like a bacon wrapped filet mignon, filet mignon steak with garlic butter. And I'm going to have that for dinner. <gasps> I'm salivating. Okay. Also, I just finished Pilates just now. Um, so yeah, it was good. Normally I like the reformer Pilates, but they don't have reformers at good life. So I did the mat work type Pilates. It was good. But I think I prefer the reformer Pilates. So I'm going to go in. Hopefully he'll let me film. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I've made it. This is where it is. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. This is it. How cool. Keto Mushroom, Keto Kiev. Hello! filming good thanks hey guys so i just finished having lunch with riley now i'm at my grandma's house so i'll put her on the vlog and see what she says oh my god she's so cute okay i can't be here for long because i am shooting for Cara Lee in the afternoon back in burley so let's let's have a look and see what she's up to Exception. Hello. Yeah, hi. Oh my god, it's massive on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. <laughs> You're gonna be watching this on the TV. Yes. Yeah. Welcome. It's close, Glenn. I'll tell you that. Oh, I'm so, watching yeah. it. What did I? You're just a post liar. You're That's okay. <laughs> oh my god, how freaking cute is my bar car? She is literally. <laughs> The sweetest. I can't believe she only just found out like a couple weeks ago that this is what I do. So, hi Barker. I love you and I miss you because I know you'll be watching this. Oh my god, she's going to be so excited. Probably call me straight after she watches this part. But um yeah, that's really cute. I'm just about to go into Cara Lee. They've got their shop on James Street. So, if you live on the Gold Coast, come check them out if not they are online as well i think you can use my code in store as well i have to ask but it's just jazz 15 and it gets you 15 percent off um i'm just waiting on them to arrive and we're gonna shoot around burley pavilion area i think um and yeah that's all i have to really update you guys on what we've got here wow that actually looks amazing how long did you put it in for 30 minutes at 180 yum good morning i'm off to sydney today i just had a shower and wash my hair there is a event tonight that i'm going to with boohoo which i'm super excited about mardi gras is also on so it's going to be so busy in sydney like this weekend i bet um i don't think i vlogged after my shoot it went well it was pretty quick like the photographer was so good um it only really took her like 20 minutes not even like, maybe even like 10 minutes per outfit to shoot so i wasn't even there that long but it was cool can't wait to share the photos for that um but yeah i'm meeting riley and her friend emily in sydney and then i might just meet her at the airport because i think our flights are like 40 minutes apart might just grab a coffee there and wait maybe go on my laptop and yeah we'll take an uber or ride together um to our hotel and then i guess we're just gonna have to start getting ready because we get there around 1 30 i think or i get there one no i get there 12 30 she gets there 1 30 ish just after one anyways yeah um then i gotta go pick up my outfit because i didn't order it in time for it to come from boohoo um, so I've got to go pick that up somehow. But yeah, we'll just be getting ready for the party. Um, 
I didn't have time to put a fresh tan on, so I might just put a coat on when I get to the hotel. My one hour express, the Bondi one, and then maybe just like wash it off before I start doing my makeup. Don't know, like, is that tan enough? Not sure. Pretty much about to leave. I might just quickly blow dry my hair um, and I'll speak to you guys later. Hey guys, I just arrived in Sydney. Literally just checked into my hotel. Oh my God, it's on, well, just off Oxford Street, I think or where the main parade will be. Like, look, I could literally come back to my apartment and watch the parade. How freaking cool is that? All those roads are gonna be all blocked off, but like, look at the room. It's kind of like an old school, I wouldn't say boutique because it's very, it looks like an older sort of hotel from the lobby and the lifts. Oh my God, I need to show you guys the lifts when I go back down, but how cool. Happy Mardi Gras. That is so sick. I love it. I love how like just simple it is. Oh, nah. This is goals. What do you mean? Oh my God, the shower. <gasps> so cool. I love old school stuff like this. Let's see if I can open this or maybe I can't open it. Or maybe it lifts up. Okay, maybe not. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Toilet, love the marble. So cool, it's called Hotel Harry. But like, I'm loving the vibe. Um, because I have to wait for Riley to get here. I think she comes here in about an hour because her flight was later than mine. I might just freshen up and go have a wander down to the shops. Maybe get something to eat, I'm not sure. I did bring my Gold Coast Keto treats. I don't think I vlogged it actually, but I went and picked up some treats. So I'll show you guys when I go to eat it. Um, yeah, how freaking cool. It's so busy down there. The airports were so busy. Oh, it's good to be back. I love Mardi Gras. I went like three years ago with some of my friends and it was the best time ever. Um, and we stayed somewhere nearby here as well where we could see the parade from our hotel room and it was so cool. Um, so yeah, I will chat to you guys later. That's a lift. Okay, so I pressed this button. Well, firstly, I couldn't even identify that this was a lift. I thought it was a door. So I clicked it, right? And it dung, like it went ding. And I was like, oh, waiting for the doors to open. Didn't realize you had to actually open the door to get into the lift. Anyways, I'm going down the stairs because that lift was scary. <laughs> this is so cool in here. This is a little restaurant. How cool. That is sick. How cool is this? They're all ready. This is what I'm wearing. I was gonna wear a sequin jumpsuit, but it didn't really fit me properly. But I'm wearing Boohoo. I'm wearing this top with the mesh sleeves. And then these are like satin pants. They're so cool. They like tie up at your ankle. And then those shoes are just from Princess Polly. I've just put my ponytail extension and just made it into a bun, just for a change. But yeah, we are leaving soon. We're just having a few drinks, probably take a few selfies. But yeah, I freaking love this outfit. Oh my God. Let me see. Yeah, look. Get in. But then look that way as well. How are we gonna get out? Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> Imagine that, just on the vlog. I've just forgot, and I've just put it in the movie, and I've just- The movie. The movie. No oh. worries. It's a movie. I do one hour vlogs. It's That's not a movie. It's a movie, people- Hey guys. Um. What have you got to say? Nothing, I'm going to bed. What do you want me to say? You're not fucking going to bed. I'm not going down there, I don't reckon. Jazz said she's not- I think I'm getting Uber Eats. <gasps> I can't be fine. They can't get here though. Yes, they Roads can. are closed. Oh, You've already bike. locked. They're on the bike. She's already locked. They're on the bike. You've already locked. They're on the bike. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, I feel crook. And I probably only had like four drinks. We had a couple in the room and I had two glasses of champagne. I woke up with the driest throat and the most pounding headache. I can't remember the last time I felt like that. Um, 
probably from like all the sugar and the champagne and stuff like that. We, I did have these actually, which I've never seen before. Well, this one's like half full. Halo alcoholic kombucha berry lime. And it is 0 0.5 carbs, 0 0.1 sugar. It was actually all right. It was a bit strong, um, but it's a good like keto alternative. Um, and then, yeah, I just had two glasses of champagne. I was like, <laughs> this morning. So I've just had a shower, gotten ready. I might just go for a walk. I might just walk to Pitt Street because it's not far. We open, it's only like 9.15. Not sure what time shops open on Sundays here, but I'm just gonna go for a walk around. Um, might grab a coffee, but I probably won't eat until I get to the airport. I'm just not hungry. I just had a bite of what was left of Gold Coast Keto's treats because me and Riley literally demolished it yesterday. I didn't have lunch because I stuffed my face with them. Um, but yeah, I, oh, I can't remember the last time I felt this shit and I have to bloody catch a plane. Um, but yeah, I think a walk outside will make me feel better. Get moving, because I'll be on a plane for like four and a half, five hours today. And I probably won't want to go to the gym when I land at four. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm going to plan to edit this vlog on the plane so I can have it up for you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys didn't find it too TMI, but like I am here to help you guys. I, I was so surprised the amount of messages um, I got when I said I had to get a colposcopy and how many people was too scared to book in. So I hope um, I kind of reassured you that it is not as bad as what it's made out to be like in your head. Cause trust me, I was thinking the exact same thing. I was like, there's no way. Um, completely fine, just remember, like, it's your health and that's like your number one priority. Um, and that all stems from getting regular pap smears. I know it's awkward, I know it's uncomfortable, but you just gotta do it. Um, mum was talking to me, um, yesterday actually, no, a couple days ago, um, she was like, oh, it was good that you're spreading awareness about that because my grandma's friend, um, had never ever gotten a pap smear in her life and she unfortunately passed away at the age of 50 from cervical cancer. No, 45. She'd never gotten a pap smear, had no idea, and just got really sick. And she was just in that last stage of cancer and there was nothing they could do treatment wise. So just, yeah, I can't stress how important it is. So I just wanted to quickly recap on that because I know I did spend a lot of time on this vlog talking about it. So. Yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, wherever you are. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. Don't forget to like because it does actually help me out a lot. So let's try to get this video to 3,000 likes. Let's just try. I want to see if that makes a difference in my overall like video or whatever. I'm not even sure how the like thing works. Maybe um, it then gets viewed on like other people's recommended. I don't know. But let's try to get this vlog to 3K likes. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.